Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of my Hot Seat Campaign as Hungary. And this is turn number two, so it looks like at this stage the turns will probably be about three weeks to a month apart. But as people start to get eliminated and start to get used to the whole hot seat thing, hopefully we'll be able to get turns more frequently. Uh, also with exams too, a lot of people have been busy this month, but as the summer goes on, I'm sure that we'll be able to get a few more episodes out. But I think that this episode is going to be quite a short one. We will not be able to take any more settlements this turn, unfortunately. Uh, the end turn report saying that we're 7th overall, which is quite good considering, you know, we're not a major power or anything. So let's bring this guy down here. And I think that uh, the next city we want to take is over on in this area. Yes, Lord. And I'm going to put, just bring these guys up to here, but I'm not going to siege it yet. Just because if I siege it and they charge out, then the rebels are going to have the advantage there because I won't be able to, to uh, do that. But the next turn, turn three, I should be able to get my spy in there, which will be good. Um, and then this army needs to move. Oh, hold on. Let's take the rest of these guys here. There we are. And let's bring them down. Are any of these mercenaries? Slav mercenaries, so they're a little bit expensive. Because I do have some mercenaries here. I wonder if I should just disband. Well, we'll keep them for now, because I think our, our treasury is okay. We stand to make some, some money per turn. So if we look at uh, all the factions here. Or actually, let's look at uh, just the top five. Uh, compared to us. So where is us? Yeah, we're right at the bottom, but we're we're kind of close, I think. So uh, yeah, England just on top of us. And then we've got France that's actually declined quite a bit as well as the Byzantine Empire. Holy Roman Empire kind of, uh, you know, just staying the way that they were. But Venice actually climbing up and England as well. So... Let's see all factions overall rating. So military ranking looks like France is the strongest. And who is this at the bottom here? Who else would be white? Scotland? No. Interesting. Well, I don't know who that is. Military ranking... Production ranking, wow. So yeah, the Byzantine Empire and the Holy Roman Empire really ramping up there. Territory ranking, um, yeah, that's us, I think, Hungary. So we've been gaining some settlements, which is good. Financial ranking, where do we stand in that list? So we're about midway, which isn't too bad. And population ranking, yeah, Byzantine Empire way up top there. Way up top. So very cool, very cool. Uh, we've got our family tree here as well. Which is excellent. And College of Cardinals. So the Hungarian Cardinal is here. Uh, looks like uh, everybody's just about the same level of piety. How does the Pope like everyone right now? Oh, wow. So the Holy Roman Empire really dropping in, in the Pope's eyes there. wonder if we should call a crusade. That might be very useful. Cairo, Antioch, which one's closest to me? Tunis, uh, the Sicilians will get that. Riga, maybe, or Vilnius? Where is Vilnius? Uh, we could probably get up there quite quickly. Yeah, because I don't have a way to get a dock right now. So actually... Okay, so he didn't accept that. What if we go against Antioch? He's not liking that. 
Come on. Popey Pope. Maybe it's just because I don't have enough favor in his eyes, I guess. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Anyways, so yes, have I done everything I need yes. to do? I've moved him, yes. moved him, moved him over. Let's just make sure yes. we're maximizing his movement. Yeah, I think he's somewhere over here. Uh, let's actually bump this up to very high tax rate. We'll still have a bit of uh, production. And also with the finishing of the land clearance, we'll have some more production or population growth as well, which will be very helpful. So that's good. That's good. Um, we've only got three upkeep slots here, I think. So we've maxed those out. Uh, let's go ahead and get another diplomat and a merchant because I want to send the diplomat across to the uh, Byzantines. And the princess over here, let's send them up towards Poland. Will I be a part of a proposition? Yes, you will. Yes, you will. All right, and let's send these guys over here. And actually, at Bucharest, uh, this actually may have the option to become a port, it looks like, because I see a little fishing village there. But yeah, I think that's really all I can do this turn, guys. So it's a pretty short turn, but hopefully as the turns progress there will be more to do in the future but thanks very much for watching guys i really hope you enjoy let me just go ahead and click and turn here and now it is time for mithrandir as england so again thanks very much for watching please be sure to like comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future and i will see you in the next one